All right, the uh, form we got stripped off there. See on the edge of the footers there, everything's looking nice and smooth there. No big air pockets or anything like that. And we went ahead after we got the forms stripped off there, we put the uh, lines down there all the way around. So that's gonna be the outside of the walls there. So we're gonna put the uh, stem walls up here. And I ran out of the uh, ICF blocks from the last house and I can't find any new ones. So this house will be uh, ripping down sheets of three quarter inch plywood and just building our own forms here and we're gonna fill those up. So to get started on that, just go ahead and take the wood out and cut it down the center so we can start building these forms. All right, here on the inside of the foundation, as you saw, we got the outside forms finally finished. Got these all the way around. And I have the uh, rebar set up on the inside there. Just have uh, one strand going going through the middle. Uh, doesn't need to be anything uh, thicker than that. And as you see here, for these forms, we're using the uh, OSB. This is a three quarter inch OSB. And with this, for forms, uh, should you use OSB for concrete forms? Uh, probably not. But can you? Yeah, you can definitely go ahead and use OSB for forms. We probably won't be able to use it again on anything else or uh, reuse it for floor, anything like that. Just because the uh, water can kind of get into the uh, strands here and it'll just kind of uh, expand it there. But just for what we're using it for, it'll be just fine building these forms here because we'll get the uh, inside form up and then get it filled with concrete in a couple days and uh, take the wood off the outside and it's going to be perfect and then the outside will be covered with dirt and you'll never even know so that's why we're using that uh, I plan to use the uh, ICF before but I can't find that stuff anymore So with this uh, OSB here, uh, you probably saw in my last videos that we we're doing the uh, forms out of ICF, and I want to use the ICF on this one, but the stuff I used last year I can't find anymore this year, and the stuff I can find is double the price of the stuff last year. So using this uh, OSB here, it's half the price of the uh, ICF, and a little bit more work, but it's not a big deal. It'll all come out the same in the end. So we're going to go ahead and keep putting this uh, board on the inside and uh, get these forms all done. So on the outside of these forms, I'm going to show how we're uh, getting the, uh, the bottom supported so the bottom of the form doesn't uh, break out from the concrete. And pretty much all we did is just got these little blocks here and have these uh, special nails there that just get um, hammered into the concrete there with another special tool. So I'll show that one, but yeah, just keep putting the blocks on the outside. That'll keep the forms uh, from coming out. 
And then on the top here, we'll have little boards going across connecting the, the forms together so this can keep it nice and strong. All right, we're here on concrete day. There's a big rainstorm out there. I hope that's not coming this way. The uh, forms are done here. Uh, got the uh, generator here, vibrator. We went ahead and put these uh, blocks in here, on the corner here. Cause that's what the uh, girders will go across. So concrete's poured, and we'll take these ones out, and there'll be a nice little, little hole in there to set the uh, girders in, have another one down there, and another one down there, and we set them inch and a half higher, because we'll have the uh, silt plate sitting down here, so then that, that was down here, then it'll be level with this, so then our joists will be able to go all the way across there, and everything's going to be nice and level. But yeah, just here again, waiting. Uh, it's been a couple days since the last video, because we did the conveyor truck again and everyone else likes that truck too so we just had to wait a couple days but it's on the way it'll be here in a few minutes and I just gotta hope that it gets here before the rain does two hours later mess I'm wet here the concrete uh, it went pretty well just on that one back wall there had the, the top split apart because the screws were just a little bit too short but we had those ratchet straps and I was able to kind of pull them back together and, and save the foundation here so besides that little part everything went really well here uh, it rained like crazy but that was just a little bit of water on top and got that off and put the anchor bolts in here and everything is now Kind of curing up and the rain went away so we should be good so uh next step here is to put the uh, girders in and subfloor that whole uh joist floor system so that'll be for the next video 
So this is it for today. I'm going to go home, wash off and dry off. And I'll see you guys for the next one. Thanks for watching.